Hello everyone, I am Benita, a 3D designer from the Clo India office and in this workshop we will be learning about a few different quilting techniques on some home products. So to begin we are going to go ahead and create a quilt. To start with I am going to create a pattern over here so using my rectangle pattern tool you can set the width and height to whatever you want your quilt to be at. So here I'm just adding a couple of values that I've worked out before. And now I have my quilt pattern ready. Once this is done, I'm just placing it in the right position because I'm going to simulate it right here on the sofa. So I'm just making sure that the position of my pattern is correct just before I simulate it. Okay, now that I have my quilt simulated, I'm going to go ahead and start the process of creating the quilting effect. To do that, I'm creating an internal rectangle and I'm going to create a couple of them. So a small rectangle and I'm going to copy paste this. So first copy pasting it along the length of the pattern. And here you can customize this to n number of shapes that you want and change the interval between them as well. Once this is done, of course, I need the same squares, the same internal squares to come below. So again, a simple copy paste. And when I right click, I get the option to set an interval and increase the number of shapes as well. So here I have my internal shapes that are spread out on my quilt. Once this is done, we're going to layer clone over. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to add pressure between them. So we need two layers of the quilt. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the pressure. So one thing to remember here will be the pattern on the top, that is the layer clone over, will be a positive pressure and the pattern at the bottom will be a negative pressure. When you simulate, you will see automatically you will have pressure filled between the pattern and you will get a quilt. This again can be adjusted so you can adjust the amount of pressure that is between both the patterns. You can also adjust the internal shapes after they are created so in case you feel that you need a little more space or you need the shapes to be a little smaller, you can make those changes right now as well. I'm just pulling and adjusting my quilt so it sits correctly the way I want it to. And once this is done, I'm going to select these patterns and I'm going to set a fabric to them because right now they're set to a default fabric. I have a fabric ready here in the library, so I'm just setting it to that fabric. And once this is done, you have your quilt ready to go. Now we're moving on to the second part of our workshop. And here we're going to go ahead and create the quilted pillow. To start with, as always, I'm going to create a pattern for my pillow. So the rectangular pattern tool. And again, you can customize the size of this pillow to whatever value you like. Once this is done, again, I am going to place this pillow pattern exactly where I want it to be. Once this is done, let's simulate it. And I'm just going to change the position a little bit. Once this is done, I am just offsetting as an internal line for the pillow and this is just to give it a better look. Once I have the pillow offsetted, I'm just going to increase the size a bit. And once this is done, I am going to now layer clone it. So again, you can choose the option of layer clone over or under. This time, I'm going to choose the option of layer clone under.
Once I have both layers of the pillar, you can see the bottom layer is actually facing downwards. I'm setting it to textured surface. And so to make sure they face each other, I'm just choosing the option of flip normal. This means you have the right side of the fabric facing outward. Once this is done, simulate it. And of course, now we are going to change the pressure to create the pillow effect. So this time I can set a positive pressure to both the patterns since the right side of the fabric is facing outward. And once you simulate, your pillow will look something like this. Once this is done, now we are going to select the patterns and I'm going to remove the linked editing. Now that this is done, to create a different quilted effect, here I am using the internal lines to go ahead and create this. You can use internal shapes or any pattern that you would like the pillow to be embossed with. So I'm just merging both the copies that I have created so that it is one arc. Once I have this arc created, I'm just adjusting it so it sits in the middle. And now I'm going to offset it. You can set whatever distance you would like and as many number of offsets. I'm trying to create a sort of rainbow pattern over here. Now that my internal lines are here, I'm just making sure my curved internal lines end at the internal line that is on the all four sides of my pattern. And once this is done, we are now going to create the second layer. To do that, a simple layer clone over. So here you have two layers now and I'm going to do the same for the bottom as well because if I don't do it, you will see the pillow will now move upward. So we have to make sure to layer clone the bottom one as well. Once you have the bottom layer, I'm simulating and you'll see your pillow will sit proper. Once you have all of this ready, I am now going to create the quilted effect. To do that, we are using additional thickness collision. So I am setting the value to 8 from the regular 2.5. And you can see you get a slightly quilted effect. To get a better look, I am changing it to a little bit higher. And changing it to thick textured surface. I'm also just placing the pillow where I need it to be and we will refine this as well. Once I'm happy with the placement of the pillow, let's work on refining. So here I am selecting the top patterns and I'm changing the particle distance to 5. This will give me a much better quilted look that I want. Once I'm happy with the look, I'm just going to change the fabric now. So I'm just changing the color. 
Here I'm going to choose the picker tool to pick a color from the same pattern of my quilt. And once this is done, just click OK and you have your embossed pillow ready to go. So here I have an illustrator file and I'm going to get this illustrator file as a quilted pattern into Clo. So this will be added as internal lines and I'm making sure I have a border around here because that will be the size of my pattern. Just making sure the file is clean and we're going to add this illustrator file into Clo. Once this is done, I am adding it to my library. And all I'm going to do is right click and add to workspace in Clo and import as internal shapes. You can see my file has been added into Clo and the pattern that was on the Illustrator file has now been added in as internal lines. I'm increasing the size and adjusting it a little bit. You can change the size, the dimensions, you can even change the internal shape after that if you'd like. Here I'm just placing it as before, before simulation. And once I'm happy with the adjustment, I'm going to layer clone it. Once you have both the layers present, I'm going to flip normal the back layer. So we have both the right side of the fabric facing outward. And once this is done, we add pressure to create my pillow. Just before I simulate it, I'm also going to remove the linked editing between both the patterns. And I'm going to remove the internal lines pattern from the bottom layer because I don't need it at the bottom. So select the internal lines and delete it. And once this is done, I'm just checking the pressure and we're going to go ahead and simulate it. So here you have the pillow with the exact pattern that you wanted. Once this is simulated properly, I'm going to go ahead and create the top quilted layer. To do that, a simple layer clone over. And we're going to do one for the other pattern as well so that the pressure is equal. Once this is done, go ahead and simulate and let it adjust. Here we are going to create the quilted effect. To create that, we select the top patterns and like before, we are going to change the additional thickness collision. So here it is a default of 2.5. I'm changing it to 12 and we go ahead and simulate. Don't worry if the look is not exactly what you want it to be. We are going to refine this as well. So again, selecting the patterns and we're going to change the particle distance to 5. Now when you simulate, you'll see you'll get a much better look. Once this is done, again, just changing the color to whatever you would like it to be. You can also change the fabric during this time to whichever fabric you would like your pillow to be added at. You can also have different fabric for different layers. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take off the internal lines. And here you can see the quilted effect a lot clearer. Now I'm just going to remove my library and show you the 3D screen. And this is what your different quilted techniques will look like. 
Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial useful and enjoy the rest of the workshop.